I've just fired some grooveware pottery and one of the pieces has cracked in the fire and it got a bit over fast with the heat. That's done two things. It's oxidised it so it's quite red, um, but it's also cracked it. Um, however, there's quite a few examples of Neolithic grooved ware where holes have been drilled alongside a crack. And it's believed that that may be uh, a repair technique that the Neolithic people were using. So what I'm doing right now is I'm busy drilling a holes in either side of that crack. I'm using a bow drill, uh, antler tips on a stick, leather um, strap with a bow and a block of wood to support at the top and a little bit of sand. Sand in the hole, tip of the antler into there, that into there and off we go. And you can hear that and you can probably see the grindings coming out of that hole. And again, a little bit more sand. And basically, that's the technique. Keep going like that until we have a hole through the pot. Not difficult. Very good. Very efficient way of drilling. And actually, you can use the material itself as the drilling medium as well. And as you can see, there we go. Lots coming out of there. We'll be through this pot in a couple of minutes. And the material I'm going to stitch it with is this which is rawhide. Now, this has been soaked overnight to make it soft. How do you buy rawhide? Pop along to your nearest pet shop. There we go. Doggy chews. And to cut it, I'm using a piece of flint, flint blade. Yes, this is the level of my flint napping skills to get a sharp blade off the edge of a piece of flint. And yes, James Dilly, I should have gone to one of your flint napping courses, I'm sure. But it will cut a nice strip off the side, which will do very nicely for stitching up the pot. And what I'm going to do with this material is thread it in through one of the holes pull it through, back out through the other hole and basically just tie it off and it doesn't need any fancy tying. This material as it dries will shrink. It will shrink considerably. It also has sort of self-adhesive properties so it will join itself back together again. And here I am putting in the last of those stitches. Now, the next time you see this, these will all have dried. So nice and tight. Just whip through, nothing fancy. Those will dry out and pull the whole thing together. And the last part of this process what I'm doing is I'm just warming a little bit of pitch and then adding it into the holes so just hot enough to be moldable and then i'm pushing that down into the holes to seal them so there we go neolithic pot repair if i wanted to make it completely watertight i could run some pitch down the grooves on the inside but as you can see that's pretty well repaired um, so the crack could be sealed off with a bit more pitch but for dry goods absolutely fine see you next time